The mafia organization Dragita was first reported in documents written by the Carabinieri of the seminary at the end of the 18th century. The term Dragita comes from the Greek word andragidos, which means valuable and cunning man. The origins of the mafia association Dragita can be found in the land-related affairs, which determined the social conflicts between the nobility, the bourgeoisie, and the peasants. The peasants initially saw the brigands as their sole defense against the Piedmontese invaders, but as time passed, they began to exhibit their actual intents and interests as murderers, robbers, and thieves. Clan of Flames, Pisciati, hence the name Pecciateria, this organization has made its presence felt in the areas, Palmi, Marapati, Gioia, Toro, Sinopoli, Iatrinoli, Radicina, Malocchio, Palestina, Melicusca, San Martino di Torinova, Palmi, Lacride, San Luca, Africa, Staitai, Kazilmov, and Calabria, Finmara, Villa or Giovanni, Calabria. An anonymous accusation, made in 1888 to the prefect of the Calabria province, Francesco Paternostro, reported the existence in Iatrinoli of one of the three brigands, founders of the Fearless Gang. At the beginning of the 19th century, brigands joined the irredentist movement and organized themselves, according to the Sicilian model, into an honorable society governed by relentless rules and complex rituals. The Calabrian Mafia was ruled by a ceremonial that was, in fact, a compromise between the religious ritual and that type of a sect, whoever wanted to join this organization had to show loyalty, killing or injuring in a skillful, courageous, eliminating manner. Only in this way could the title of respectable man be accessed. The hierarchy was represented by the Tree of Science and included the Trunk, Chief of Boston, or Peace No. 90, which was the coordinating brain, having the power of life and death over the members of the association. The main branch, the accountant and the administrator. Branches, experts located everywhere. Branches, new recruits. Flowers, young people of honor, future recruits. Leaves, traitors. Over time, the old parasitic mafia was replaced by other structures, determined by the social and economic transformations in the region of Calabria. The current structure and dimensions of the organization. Calabria, with a population of 2,146,000 inhabitants and 409 urban localities, is the fortress of Ndragita. The organization consists of 140 clans, with a total of about 5,600 members, represents a mobster in 383 Calabrian inhabitants. The structure is predominantly horizontal, with links between the Ndragita clans, but without regional or provincial commissions. The criminal clans in the region are formed around a nucleus family, whose members are descendants of a developed patriarchal family with an agrarian past. Like the old families, the clans are autonomous, strictly limited to internal problems, suspicious of foreigners, and members particularly loyal and because members of a clan are recruited only from one family. The high degree of internal cohesion and the involvement of relatives in the clan's affairs protects them from the danger of betrayal. Omerta, the law of silence is fully enforced, which is why there are very few cases in which members of Calabrian clans have agreed to appear as witnesses in court. Ndragita has always used the written cipher, ordinary or symbolic, to hide communications between its members. Unlike Cosa Nostra, women in Calabria can play an active role in Dragita, and lately, they have even begun to receive and perform tasks that are not far superior to the illegal operations performed by men. Typical of the Ndragita reality in Calabria is the maintenance of enmity, in the form of bloody conflicts between clans, which break out for various reasons, usually to exercise their supremacy in a certain territory. According to the evidence of the few deserters, in the organization who have accepted to testify in court, a provincial committee has been created in recent years to establish a vertical structure for the organization. The main activities carried out by the organization. Starting with the 1960s, mafia families began to diversify their activity so that, in addition to controlling the market for fruits, vegetables, and speculative operations with edible oil, they smuggled cigarettes, extortion, and seizures, and since the 70s, to drug trafficking. Ndragita also used financial funds from illegal activities to invest in public works, such as the Calabria Salerno Motorway and the doubling of the Calabria San Giovanni Railway. However, the largest activity carried out by Ndragita remains the extortion of merchants, specialists, entrepreneurs, businessmen in general. 
Ndragita is responsible for committing an assassination of public notoriety, respectively of the magistrate Scopoliti, appointed to support the accusations against Cosa Nostra at the High Court of Cassation. Links with other criminal organizations The Ndragita clans have been documented in several Italian areas, including Piedmont, Lombardy, and northern Liguria, as well as northeastern Veneto and the center and northern parts of Umbria and Tuscany. Some experts in the field of organized crime appreciated, at one point, that Ndragita is the most dangerous mafia organization in Italy due to the presence of its members throughout the country. Ndragita has established operational links with Cosa Nostra, Camorra, and Corona Sacra Unita, especially in the area of drug trafficking. Externally, Calabrian clans have been reported in large numbers in France, Germany, Spain, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, the United States, and Latin American countries. The Saderno Group, for example, a branch of the Ndragita organization, has operated in Canada for 20 years. There have been and still are agreements and links between Calabrian clans and Colombian cartels, as well as with criminal gangs in Turkey and the United States, with which they have partnered for drug trafficking.